Welcome back to Magically Katie. We just landed in Orlando. It's about 6 o'clock at 6.08. We are heading over to baggage claim. We're gonna go catch mirrors and head over to the resort. So I figured that I would show you guys a little bit about how you get onto mirrors, like where you go and all that stuff. So let's go get a shuttle to the hotel. Southwest, so we have to go to Terminal A to go. Well, we land in Terminal A and we have to go get our baggage from Baggage Claim, which is in Terminal A. But Mirrors picks you up in Terminal B. So the first time I got on Mirrors, I went the wrong way. So make sure if you land in Terminal A, you get your baggage claim, go, go to Baggage Claim, and then go back over to Terminal B. So you're not just like wandering around this place because it can be kind of a pain. All right, got our bags. We gotta go back up the escalator or the elevators, but we gotta go back up and across so we can get over to Terminal B and then go back down to the first level. This is probably the shortest I've ever seen this line over here. But we just gotta make it across. Ooh, some new shirts. We'll make it across and then we'll go back down to mirrors. They got the Halloween spirit jerseys. Look at the Ursula one. I think that's the one that I want to do. Oh, look at Madame Leota. I got this. I got those ears. Jalen's got to check out the merch. We haven't even made it to Disney yet. Is it? Do you want it? Then yeah. Wait, the other girl didn't get it? Oh. Alright. Sure. <laughs> we haven't been in Orlando for more than 30 minutes. We've already bought something from Disney. And we're not even in the parks or at a hotel. We're still in the airport. <laughs> we have a problem. Terminal B. I gotta go down to level one. Now we're on the first level of Terminal B and way down there, you can see the blue, that's Mirrors. All right, so here's Mirrors. We check in at these touch screens over here, or at the people. Ooh. Literally just scan the QR code and head right over. We are going to um, All Star Sports. So we're going to this one. Sports, music, movies. Oh, Animal Kingdom also in Coronado Springs. Oh my goodness, and there is no wait. We're walking right up. Couldn't have planned that better. like this and you just scan the code 
and it's extremely simple and they put your stuff underneath and this bus is going to a lot of different stops so it'll probably take us a bit to get to our resort um, but we're all checked in our rooms ready so once we get there we're good to go so it's actually extremely simple So from the time we landed to the time we got to our resort, it took two hours almost exactly. Um, which honestly is not horrendous considering how far Disney is from the airport. And really the most time was actually just getting our luggage. Um, but it was very simple. We were able to go from our gate, we got on the little, the fake monorail, <laughs> over to where baggage claim is. We went downstairs to that level got our baggage, went back up to like the ticketing level, across to level, um, to Terminal B, because we landed in Terminal A with Southwest, went across to Terminal B, and then went from, because that's the third floor, went down to the first floor. And then once you're there, um, it's, when you come off the elevators, it's to the left and it's all the way down. Um, but as long as you have your QR code that you scan, you just they tell you what line to go in and you, Unfortunately, sometimes you do have to wait for a bus. Um, I know Jalen's waited actually a decent amount of time for the bus to pick them up. Um, we actually just walked right up to it, so it was very simple. Once we were on Mirrors, um, we, I believe, were the third stop. They stopped at um, some Marriott, um, Coronado Springs. Oh no, we were in the fourth stop because we also stopped at Jumbo House, um, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and then here at All Star Sports, and then they went to All Star Music after this. So you will be multi-stops. Um, so if you're the first stop, it could take a lot less time, but we were the fourth stop into this trip. So it took us a little bit longer than it could have, um, but all in was super easy. Um, I believe it was $35 for the two of us round, um, to get from the airport to the resort. Um, and then we tipped the guy five bucks because we had four bags. Um, I know it depends on how you like to tip. I know some people definitely didn't, but we like to dip at least a little bit. Um, so I think all in it, all in it's like, it was like 40 bucks for us, for the two of us to get here. Um, so it depends on how you feel about Ubers. For one person, it would be cheaper than an Uber. Um, I won't take an Uber by myself. So when I did travel here by myself, it was much nicer to take mirrors than an Uber. So hopefully this has helped you. Um, I enjoy it and I don't have to rent a car and it's much, it's much cheaper than that. So. Hopefully this helps you out and you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.